I'm in Rosebank for PwC's annual hospitality outlook. With me, I have Nikki Forster to discuss some of the trends in the report. This is our fourth year we've done the report, and each year I think it's got bigger and better and we've included more information. We've included obviously South Africa and the various accommodation sectors in South Africa, predominantly hotels, but we also look at guest houses and we also look at the sort of low budget camping caravan aspects. And then we've, we've also looked at Mauritius and Nigeria, which we also looked at last year. So we've got a trend developing there. And this year we've in included Kenya as well. What emerging trends were identified in the South African market? What we've seen is, is a, a very encouraging improvement in the industry. All the key factors are increasing. Now they're not big jumps by and large, but they're strong, steady growth and improvement. Were there any surprising or unusual trends or statistics? Not really any sort of surprises or unusual trends. I think everything is is slow but steadily improving. The one that was quite interesting, however, was the five-star market, where actually occupancies have gone up by nearly 10% in the, in the past year, and um, room rates as well. So of all the sectors, that's really encouraging to see. Now, you mentioned Mauritius as an mm. addition. What are we seeing there? Mauritius is, is, is a difficult market at this point in time. Arrivals to the, to the islands are increasing. They've gone up by 2.9%, but they're suffering a lot of com competition from destinations like Sri Lanka, from the Maldives, from the Seychelles, which all offer very much a similar product. Although perhaps in terms of Sri Lanka, you've also got the cultural impact as well. And Nigeria, with some of the terrorist activity that's yeah. taken place there, what effect has that had on the hospitality there? We haven't seen any impact at this point in time. Obviously, most of those activities, the terrorism, the kidnapping of the girls, has taken place in more remote parts of Nigeria. It's not happened around the business centers like Lagos. So I think the impact has is, is been minimalized by that distance away from where the business is happening. Also, bear in mind, the act corporate activity there is so significant that even a small impact is not really going to cause that many waves.